Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today is March 20th and I'm planting potatoes in five gallon buckets. So I want to show you the principles on how you can grow potatoes in the five gallon bucket. These are seed potatoes. Um, I picked these up at my grocery store. I think they were uh, two boxes for seven dollars. Not a bad price. You get six potatoes per box and I got these because of the purple majesty. I've actually used potatoes that I've gotten at the grocery store or the organic store near me. Um, they work perfectly fine too but I wanted to grow the purple potatoes. A couple things about uh, growing potatoes is one, they like to be put out when the soil temperature is about 45 or 50 degrees and when the soil is draining pretty well. If you put these into cold soil that stays soggy, they're probably going to rot. They also like to grow when the temperatures, the day temperatures are between 60 and 70 degrees. So those 60 to 70, 70 degree days are what um, produce the potatoes. That's when they're doing um, potato production. Once it gets up into the 80s, they actually stop creating the tubers or the potatoes. So you want to time this so that you're getting at least 70 days of the right growing conditions. And the reason I say 70 days is because potatoes uh, mature, depending on the variety, between 70 and 120 days. So today's March 20th. I've got a good 75 to 85 days worth of the temperatures, um, or the temperature that the potatoes like, and that's 60 to 70, 70 degree days. Now the other thing about potatoes is they don't like high pH soil. So do not add any lime to your mix when you're doing this. Like I've talked in other videos about putting lime into your container soil when you're doing tomatoes and peppers and that's important for a disease called blossom end rot. But potatoes prefer a lower pH value. So what I have done is I filled up my container halfway with half the of last year's um, container soil and half peat moss. Peat moss is acidic so the acidity in here mixed with the container soil will bring the pH down or at least keep it in a level where the potato likes to grow. Now to prepare this I again put in 50 percent of the topsoil or container soil, 50 percent of the peat moss and I put in two tablespoons of processed fertilizer. This is a 9 12 12 Potatoes tend to like more phosphorus and potassium. And I just put in two tablespoons. You can use any fertilizer that you like. If you're going to go all organic, and I really don't recommend it for containers because there's not the soil biology in container soil that really breaks down your organic fertilizers. Your potato needs the potassium, the phosphorus, and the nitrogen right away through the next 70 days. If you put in bone meal or blood meal, that's an insoluble form of phosphorus and nitrogen which requires, which that means is that the soil life has to break that bone meal down, that blood meal down into a form the plant can use. While it's doing that your plant's going to be growing, it's not going to be getting the nutrition it needs because the bone meal and blood meal aren't available to your potato. So I used the process fertilizer. Again, it was a 9-12-12, you can use a 10-10-10, you could use a 5-5-5, it doesn't matter so much. Um, the idea is just to put in one or two tablespoons to give your plant something to uh, nourish it while it grows. All right, so we got the feeding down. So the container is halfway full. I'm going to plant the potato about three to four inches deep. You only need one seed potato in a five gallon container. My other videos I've done more, and that's because I just tend to overplant, I think. But I'm going to follow the instructions and the wisdom of other people that have been doing this for much longer than me and do one seed potato. These are the eyes of the potato. They're starting to root. So let me just drop this down. The soil's nice and loose. That's going down three inches. I'm going to cover it up. And that's going to set up my first container. Now when you buy these, I want to give you a couple of tips. Is make sure you inspect them because sometimes in the bags that they come in or the boxes they're starting to rot and usually you can smell them but sometimes you can't. Let's see if I can get them all, oh, almost. So these are nice and firm. They're alright if they're a little bit soft. That's just what's going on. But when you get them and if they're a little bit watery or they smell bad, don't buy them. That means they're already rotting and you don't want to buy, you know, potatoes that are in bad shape. Now if you notice the growth is starting in all of these potatoes, that's what you want. To get your potatoes ready, you're really supposed to put them out 
on a windowsill for a couple of weeks. Your house is usually 60, 70 degrees and they're going to start gearing up to start growing and they're going to be ready to be planted. Usually when you buy a box like this, they're already going to be doing that. If they didn't have anything before you put them into the soil, just let them sit by the windowsill. Um, stay in the box until you start seeing the eyes sprout. You can use store-bought potatoes. I've done that before, but I wanted the Purple Majesty variety for these. All right, so this is planted again three, four inches down. And the reason that you're only planting, filling the container halfway is because you want six or eight inches of growth to come up and then you're going to fill that by one half. So the stalks will come up, they'll be about, you know, this tall, that's well, like six inches. Then put in another three inches of the, of the soil mix and then when they grow another three inches, fill it up to the top. And the reason you're doing that is because you're putting soil along the whole length of the stalk that's coming up. And most potato varieties will send out roots from the stalks and then they will also produce potatoes. So this is a way to increase the yield. But rather than just, you know, filling the bucket up, dropping it three or four inches down, not really using the space down here because potatoes tend to grow along the stalk. So, what does that mean? If I planted the potato here, the stalk's only going to be about this much. So the potato production is going to be a little bit less because they don't typically send roots way down here. So I start the potato here, roots will come out here, will come out along the stalk, and this whole bucket should fill up with purple potatoes. Hope that makes sense and it gives you some idea of how you can grow potatoes in a five gallon container. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. I'll be giving you updates and showing you what I do with the growth as these mature over time. Thanks.